I got scammed on Fleek for 100 fake Patagonia fleeces. eBay has died a death. I got some custom painted Air Force Ones. But before we get into it, can we just take a minute to look at how chaotic my room is? So this is my office and yeah that's my uh 20 foot 24 targets some guys some of you will have seen this on instagram uh there's a few that uh, are already in the works but yeah so this is my desk absolute mess absolute mess absolute mess but we're gonna work it out i also got accepted on whatnot so we're going to run through all of the things I want to chat to you about today, where I've been for the last four weeks. It's been an interesting couple of weeks, so we'll, uh, we'll get through it now. So let's talk about Fleek. So here are some examples of the fleeces that I got. I got 100 fleeces for £900. Uh, so this is a fleece, relatively nice style. Quality doesn't feel the same. Um, and then as we look at the tags here, Patagonia, and it's the Cinchilla. And uh, yeah, you can see there. So on these, there we go. And we're back. 1950s power cut there. So as you can see here, these labels here are all exactly the same on every single one of these fleeces, every single one. Um, they've got different sizes on, but the actual print, everything else, is, they're all super crisp, all super. So what's happened here is that the, the people on Fleek, so this isn't actually Fleek, Fleek is just an app or a website where you can uh, buy wholesale from other vendors um, or wholesalers. And um, yeah, so they just basically are like the mediation between the two. So what's happened here is the vendor that I used, uh, unfortunately, have been mass producing fake Patagonia fleeces in the hopes that people wouldn't notice. So these fleeces were meant to be um, 100 fleeces for £1,400. They had a little bit of a promotion on. I went into the promotion. I also managed to negotiate with them because I said, look, if this goes well, I will purchase multiple quantities of 100 fleeces and maybe like they do Carhartt and all that types of vibes as well. Um, so I said, look, you know, so I managed to get them down to £900. So it's £9 a piece for the fleece. And there's another one, it's actually a really nice, like, cool design, but unfortunately, 100% fake. So, they all have the same style number, they all have the same colour code, uh, and they don't have a date on, which apparently Patagonians are meant to. And just for the last one, I'll show you this one as well. Super thin, really badly done, all the same labels, so that's just three of the hundred. Um, so, not, not one, not two but all 100 of them are exactly the same they're all fake they're all awful so dealing with fleet customer service has been fun um i spoke to the vendor the vendor didn't deny it in fact they just basically said oh we're really sorry that you understood that they were fake um and we will uh, sort it out with fleek now fleek have said that they'll give me a refund within two to four days we're currently on day six and still no refund so yeah uh will i use fleek again probably not uh is it fleek's fault absolutely not it's the vendor on there i've asked and spoken to them to try and get this vendor removed because let's be honest they don't want people selling fake uh in their um in their website either so hopefully with fingers crossed nobody else will have to deal with that vendor again because they will have been removed so yeah that's fleek uh we'll get straight into whatnot now so whatnot I've finally been accepted. It's taken a little bit of time. I did um, apply in the wrong category, uh, and a friend of mine, Jess, she managed to get. She's just been uh, approved, and she managed to send me a referral link, and I re relinked uh, re and, and re uh, applied, and I got in uh, yesterday. So if you haven't already, go over to Lightwork Resells. Um, I think it's yeah, Lightwork Resells on whatnot. I'll put a picture here uh, so you can see it. Go and follow me on there to be notified when I'm going to be alive. I have got some banging items. I've got a Visu, I've got Toast, I've got Sahara, I've got Coach. I've got some really, really, really good stuff. I'm probably going to get rid of a few men's stuff on there. It's in the women's category, but we all know it's 2023. And you can identify uh, whatever you want to be. So if you identify as a woman, 
then you can also be in the show um, and come in buy some women's clothes um, yeah there's gonna be lots on there there's gonna be loads I've got I've got masses amounts of, of stuff to get rid of um, I've been sourcing specifically for it I've got some nice fur coats if they're if they're allowed to sell fur on that I think they should so we're all good there but yeah so it should be fun should be interesting what night is the place to be everybody's raving about it luxury pickers are on there John Luke's on there Ricky resells is on there Lola and Peter are on there she resells uh, Shell Resale, sorry, is on there as well. There's loads of people on there. Everybody's smashing it. So uh, I've put myself in there and see how we get on. So definitely check me out on whatnot. Now, why have I been away for so long? Uh, so one of the reasons I've been away for so long uh, is because eBay sales have plummeted. Uh, I was... Uh, I was listing 10 a day and then that had to be reduced to 5 because of a, a, a stock, a, a new stock uh, low. Um, but I've upped my sourcing game now. I'm going out every day to charity shops, etc. Putting a lot more effort into the sourcing. So we're getting a lot more. So we're back up to 10 a day. Now the sales have picked up. They're not quite where I want to be just yet. And obviously with Christmas coming up, there's going to be a lull between Christmas and New Year's. I don't think I'm going to upload any new items in that little week period. I think I'm just going to do um, a lot of stock um, taking and just sort of like looking at what I've got and trying to um, manipulate um, prices and, and titles and maybe even rework some old stock. Uh, do a lot of sell similars and stuff like that and try and push the sales that way. So hopefully next year we're on the up. Um, and to tie in with that, uh, the wife is going to be leaving her job hopefully in January, uh, which means that she'll be working with me full time um, on this, which means that we're, we're, we're structuring the day very, very well. So um, Monday to Saturday, I will be out sourcing every day and she'll be at home um, drafting and getting rid of uh, all of the parcels and stuff. So every day she'll be drafting lots of items and, and then packaging all the items up and then sending those. I get home, I'll take a few pictures of the stuff that she's drafted because that's the way we do things. A lot of people do the pictures and then draft. I like to do the drafts and then do the pictures. doesn't really matter either way, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be um, that's going to be the way that we're going to do it. Um, so she's happy to to stay at home, do all the drafts, um, and do the packaging and stuff. And I'm going to be out sourcing. Uh, we've taken both of our strengths. My strength is knowledge of brands, etc. Her strength is patience and being able to find the right prices and the find and just do that. So, and then what we're going to do at the weekends is uh, she's going to come to car boots and stuff. If we went on like free town charity shop vendors uh, every day uh, she's not she'll do it but it's not um like her favorite thing to do um so yeah uh, hopefully in january we're going to be able to push to 15 items a day which again will hopefully push the store back up again and then we're just going to keep processing and keep working and hopefully we'll keep going and by the end of next year who knows we could be hitting 20 items a day and we could really be smashing it so that's the focus there uh, let's get this last bit opened up because I've been waiting to open these for about three days, four days. I've had these for a long time. So if you don't know, there's a lady on Instagram called Snug Footwear or Snugs Footwear. I'll put the link here or a picture of her Instagram here. Uh, her name is Loretta. Um, she's also a reseller, but she also works and goes to col uh, college and all this sort of stuff. So she she's a really hard worker. And I sent her a pair of trainers to paint. So she paints trainers. So I'll put the Instagram here and I'll put uh, her there or whatever so you can see. Uh, you can also just go to her Instagram and um, you can speak to her and you can get train you can send trainers to her and she'll paint them and then send them back. Now obviously it costs uh, money. Uh, I paid £100 to get these painted. So let's do a reveal. Let's see what they're like. As you can see, all completely sealed. Haven't opened them yet. I just did a quick spin there because my address is on there. But yeah. So these haven't been opened yet, so this is the first time I'm seeing them. I saw a, I saw a very sneak, sneak peek of them um, on Instagram when uh, we were just going over some details of what I actually wanted. Um, but, I mean, come on. Already you can tell these are absolutely fire. So, well packaged back, which is brilliant. Great news. Oi, oi, oi. Um, some people might not like the style. So when, when you look at these, I instructed um, to, to do it this way. So if you see it and you don't like it from an artistic standpoint, it's on me. It's not on her. But yeah, look at them. 
absolutely beautiful. So here you can see from certain angles it looks a bit wonky, but that's just because of the 3D rays on the tick. Um, it doesn't. So if you get it exactly straight on, it looks banging. It's really, really good. But sometimes from certain angles like this, where the 3D section is of the of the tick, it can look like it's a bit wonky. But it's definitely not. It's absolutely perfect. Um, as you can see there, you might not like. Again, you might not like the artistic style of what I've gone for here. But yeah, the, the, these for me are absolutely incredible. I really, really like them. Yeah, I love them. So yeah, I've got. Zapdos on there, Pokemon obviously if you didn't know, um, Zapdos is my favourite Pokemon uh, from Gen 1, uh, he was amazing, so I decided that I was going to get some trainers customised with them on it, there you go, and then that's trainer number 2, Look, they are absolutely fire by the way, I really really love them, so shout out to Loretta uh, for doing them for me, now like I said they cost £100 to get them painted but if you want customized painting trainers, definitely check her out. The picture of the Instagram will be here. The link will be hopefully in the description if I remember to do it. So 100% go and check her out. Incredible work. Did it relatively quickly considering she's got a lot going on. I was very patient. I don't need them back straight away. So it was fine by me. Uh, but yeah, really good service. Thank you very much. So in terms of gathering new stock, I've gone through a little bit of a phase of just working out stuff. So obviously I went with Fleek to try and get some wholesale then. Uh, car boots aren't really there. And I've also been traveling further and further afield to charity shops. I even ended up uh, down by Reading Way and met Harry and we had some food and watched the football and it was great fun. And then we went charity shopping the next day and we picked up loads of stuff. There is, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a picture here or a link to his Instagram. We did a live haul on his Instagram um, of all the things we picked up. Really good day, really good fun. Uh, but one of the things I also have tried to, uh, or am trying to do is um, find new avenues and ways of sourcing. So this is just a leaflet that I've had printed out. I've got two and a half thousand of these um, and it's just this. Uh, so yeah, the idea being uh, people, I'm going to deliver these all over my town and hopefully people will get back to me with some deals. I haven't had anything just in the way, but I've only delivered about a hundred so far. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit warm. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that's happened this month. Um, I've not really done a huge amount, like in general. I've been away for the weekend with the boys. I went down to see Harry when I was doing my sourcing trip. Um, I've bought a bunch of flyers to get printed out and, and um, delivered around the local area. Obviously Fleek was a big palaver and still has been a bit full of palaver, but I'm super excited about whatnot um, and the ability to move items quickly. Um, so definitely go and follow me on there if you haven't. Also, I uh, will be putting a referral link um, on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, like where it resells. Um, and I'll put a referral link so if you haven't already signed up for whatnot sign up through my link and then if you purchase something um, Then we both get some money back or something like that It, it works like that somehow uh, <clears throat> I know this isn't a normal video But I've just tried to get one out um, just so give you guys an update of what's happening and where I've been um, On other news this month I had to have my uh, dog put down. Uh, she was old and ill so that's kind of been a negative impact on, on everything that I've been doing and slowed down some of the processes and stuff like that. So that's kind of been a bit meh. I, I was doing this thing on Instagram where I was um, putting out like Bolo brands every day. And then when that happened, I kind of stopped. And then I've not got back into that either. It's just been a bit of a Debbie Downer this month. So um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, charity shop prices are still mental. <coughs> so we're still struggling to, to get good good deals and stuff like that hence the reason why I'm going further afield and I'm also adding the flyers uh, I've, I'm trying to build a Facebook page at the moment or a group or something like that where I can I can advertise um, stuff like that as well uh, so yeah I, I think whatnot is the king at the moment that's where I'm going to put, put, put in a big focus on in the next month or so now after that month I may not like it and I might just bin it off I don't know um, I'm hoping that I don't and I, I really enjoy it and it's good fun so yeah, also with the charity shops, I'm finding it very difficult to record in them. I've done it once before and it felt super awkward and I didn't have any conflict or, or anything like that. So there's no reason for me to not do it uh, again. But I just feel like when I'm walking around the charity shop, this big bloody camera on my chest, it just it's just a bit awkward and a bit weird. So 
I'm struggling with that type of thing. I'm hoping that I'm just going to just bite the bullet and get some content out for you guys. It's definitely the charity shop stuff because I do think it's interesting the ways that people source and the way that people run for a charity shop. Uh, I went out with Harry recently and he spends like 10 to 15, maybe even 20 minutes in a charity shop, whereas I'm usually in do the men's section, do the games, uh, a little bit of bric a brac, and then I'm off. But I've been trying to implement women's clothing into my my repertoire. Repertoire, 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 um, and trying to learn more brands on them. trying to learn more brands on them as well, and then hopefully that will open up new avenues in terms of being able to source more items, etc. So, thank you very much for watching. I know this has not been the the video, um, but it is what it is.